Shalom Mashpuka. I pray everyone is doing well. Um, after last week I did the Daughter of Babylon prophetic funeral, I really, I really got attacked. It was a lot of people that came and attacked me, but lo and behold, they didn't know what the next message would be. This message, there is a time to fight. Our people don't know when to fight. They're coming and they're looking for a fight. They're looking for a fight from me. And this is something that our people, we've been fighting each other. We've been put against each other to fight each other. But we need to know before this message is finished, you will know when to fight and when not to fight. What is the Most High saying to us? When is he saying for us to fight? And why we don't know. We don't know when to fight. And why we continue to fight each other, you know, it, it it makes, you know, it's crazy. It makes no sense at all. Here on the screen, I told you I, I was going to bring this out. I've been mentioning this. The, the shield with the cross swords. This is something our people are doing. We don't know why we're doing it. And I'm going to show you here why we're doing it. And what, is, what does this mean? All of these pictures of shields with cross swords. This is what... This is what the other nations do. And some of the swords, you notice, um, they're down. These swords, most of the swords, they're down. And some of the swords are up. Our people don't know what this means. We have no idea. This didn't come. This is no, this, there's no scripture to back this mess up with. And so why, why, why our people are doing this? What does this mean? Look at this. Two cross swords on a shield. This is what it means. When the two cross swords are pointing up, it means you're ready to fight. But when the two cross swords are pointing down, it means the fight is over. And most of our people, this is the one that they portray. And they're saying the fight is over. There's no fight in them. There's no fight coming. They're not preparing for a fight. It's like you know, there won't there won't be a fight, and that's not what the most high is saying. Where did this mess come from? Why are they doing this? Look at this. This is 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 this is ISIS shield. This is their swords, cross. Of course, it's up for fighting. And here is Americans, US troops that they supposed to be fighting ISIS, but we know to deal with this. And their swords is up saying they're fighting against them, but we know what they're saying and, and what they really mean this is what they do and here we are doing picking up what they do now we know where this come from 322 skull and bones cross this is where we this 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 is something that um they've been doing for years this is nothing new it is nothing new we just don't know what it means and we partake of things that we have no idea first scripture psalms 35 and 1 says Yahuwah, the avenger of his people. Yahuwah is, you know, there's uh, Marvel movies come at, came out, Avengers. Well, they got that from Yahuwah. They're copying. He is the he is the original avenger. And that's this is where they're getting that from. He says, plead my cause, O Yahuwah, with those who strive with me. Those that's with me, plead my cause. Let them know who I am. This is what he's saying. But he said, Fight against those who fight against me. This should be our prayer to him. For him to fight. Because this is his word. This is what he promised. Fight against those that fight against us. And remember the promise to our father Abraham. He said, I will barack those that barack you. And I will curse those that curse you. So those that fight against you, he's going to fight against them. And those that fight with you, I will fight with them we don't know we have no idea who are we fighting against Deuteronomy 1 and 30 Yahuwah Yahweh who goes before you we're seeing he is the one that go before us he will fight for you according to all he did for you in Egypt before your eyes so it is him we have to understand it's the most high that go and fight before us now here's a point if you're righteous and i'm righteous who is he going and we're fighting against each other who is the most high going to go before and fight who you see this is this makes no sense 
And this is not what he wants. He does not want us fighting against each other. And these people that attacked me last week, there were many. I just blocked them. Block, block, block. And I, I'm i not getting into these these uh, useless fights with them. They want to fight with, with, with their mouth. And that, you know, these camps will even tell you, we just cut one up with the sword, calling the, the scriptures the sword. We cutting them up with the sword. You see, they're ready to fight and cut and kill. And they don't know when to fight. They don't know the fight. They're not talking about the fight. Listen to them. They are not even talking about the fight. Deuteronomy 3 and 22, you must not fear them. The Most High said, don't fear these people. This is what he's telling us. This is what he's telling me. Those people that came and attacked the channel. He said, don't fear them. For Yahuwah, Yahuwah, your mighty one himself fights for you. It's him himself that fights for us. See, when they come against all I do on this channel is do what I'm doing now, bringing out the word. All I did was bring those videos they came against me in. All I did was brought out the words. I posed some questions. Who wrote the book of Hebrews? They're fighting, but they didn't say who wrote the book of Hebrews. They're protecting the book of Hebrews and not knowing the author. We're supposed to believe when there's a change of the Torah from an unknown author this is the fight they want to fight i i can't go there with you you want to fight this is dangerous ground i'm i'm teaching you know they're saying i'm teaching something false i'm leading people astray listen i'm telling here's another fight one the last week fight i'm i'm so wrong for telling people to leave babylon i'm not i didn't let me make it clear rebels Listen, rebels, let me make it clear. I don't tell any, I have no power or authority to tell anyone to do anything. I just pulled out the scripture where he said, from the mouth of the prophets, from the mouth of the prophets with an S on it, more than one, come out of her, my people. Take not part of her iniquity and of her sins. This is what he said. And so I'm not, it's not coming from me. See, this is where the people made a mistake in scripture. When the prophet spoke, they thought that word came from the prophet. And what gets me, they see it coming out of scripture and they think it's coming from me. How ignorant are we today? Joshua 10 and 25. Then Joshua said to them, don't be afraid. Do not be afraid, nor be dismayed. See, we get to the point where when the, the battle seems like it's impossible for us to win, we're fighting certain battles in our everyday life, and it seems impossible. Things seem impossible. When things seem impossible, if if the Most High is with us, what are we to be afraid of? What are we to be dismayed? We are easily dismayed. The simple things could just make us afraid and dismayed, and we have no courage, no strength whatsoever within us. He says, be strong and of good courage for thus Yahuwah will do to all your enemies against whom you fight whoever we fight the most high goes before us as the scripture says and they have to fight him first we coming behind we're going to fight also uh, 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 you know most people think the most high is going to do everything and we don't have anything to do well I'm, we're going to see in scripture that that's not the case at all but, you know, we have to know when, when, when are we to fight? We don't know when to fight and when not to fight. And that's what the Most High wants you to get in this message. There is a time to fight and we don't know who we are. And it's horrible when the other nations know who we are. Look at this, Joshua 35 and 19. Surely this is another nation speaking here. This, this is when the kings of the Amorites was ready to come against the sons of Jacob. And it was just a few of the, the sons of Jacob with some servants. But it was, you had kings and armies of thousands. And here he's saying, he's telling them, surely you know and understand that you do not come to fight with them, but you come to war with their mighty one who made choice of them, the most high make choice of you. 
If you keep his law, statutes, and commandments, the Most High make choice of you. We have to we have to understand this. We don't get it. We don't know it. And you have therefore all come this day to be destroyed. The the enemies know. The other nations knew that when we come together, when we are on one accord, when Yahshua Raw, listen, become one again and the Most High with us, the other nations can't stand. Why? Because he will fight. He will go before us and fight before us. And the nations cannot win with the Most High when he's with us. But the question is, whose side are you on? Are you on the Most High side? If you're on the Most High side, you won't be fighting against the scriptures. You won't be fighting against someone that's just reading scriptures from the, from the text, from the page, giving it to you straight, not holding back. 1 Samuel 15, 18. Now Yahuwah sent you on a mission. Listen at this. This is when it's time to fight. When Yahuwah sends you on a mission, the Most High is going to send some of the men in the earth today on a mission. These men have to be equipped, trained, and ready for battle. Remember the message, make ready for the battle. They will be trained, equipped, and they will battle. They will do battle. They will fight. This is what he's going to say. He's going to tell them, go on this mission, go and utterly destroy the sinners, those that commit iniquities, those wicked ones. Remember the wicked being removed while the righteous remain? Who do you think will do the removing? The Most High, the Most, the Mashiach, and these mighty men, and the Malachs, the, the, the sinners, the sinners, here are the people, the Amalekites. And fight the who and fight against them until they are consumed. You see, so the people are going to have to fight. You know, the Most High is not going to do all the fighting, and we have nothing to do. That's not how He operates. He give us an opportunity to take a part of His mighty work. He never, ever sit back. And do he never let us sit back and he does everything so that when it comes to him gathering us, you see, our people don't understand how he works, how he operates. And I, I, you know, I thank him for allowing me to see this, how he worked, how he operated. No man taught me this. It came from studying and reading the scriptures and, he, and him opening my eyes to it. The scripture was not a book that was sealed unto me. It became a book that was understandable. Finally, we can read the book and understand it. It became a book of understanding to me. First King 12, 21 through 24. Okay, we're going to find out when it's not time to fight. Here we have Rehoboam came to Jerusalem. He assembled all the house of Yehuda. With the tribe of Benjamin, 180,000 chosen men who were warriors. This is us today. We can make this statement for us today. Today, I said it before and I said it again, we're wimps. The men today are wimps. And we are wimps. We, listen, we are wimps because of the system. We were systematically made to grow up to be wimps. They systematically removed our men from the house. They did that on purpose. And we were raised, most of us were raised by a woman. I was raised by a woman. I had to learn to be a man on my own. And we are wimps. You're talking about the most high tell us to go fight, go kill, utterly destroy. As I said before, we can't kill a cat or a dog. Or a chicken. You remember rush hour. The lady was about to kill the chicken to eat. And what did he say? No, 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 no. Don't kill the chicken. We can't kill a chicken. And this is, you know, and you want us to kill, the most high want us to kill a man? Take our sword and thrust it through his body and his blood as his blood comes out? Many of us, we wouldn't be able to do it right. We can't do that right now. We, many of us never even kill anyone, any person. And so, yes, we are wimps. Now, the enemy have wicked ones 
that can do things like this.